Hey everybody, welcome back to another State of the Market for November 2023. Hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving and got to spend some time with their family and friends and enjoy the day. So we've got some great information for you guys today. A couple of changes uh, into the um, some of the sectors that is all positive. And I'm, uh, I'm so excited to share those with you. So let's just jump right into it and I'm going to share my screen here. Okay. So the first uh, sector that we want to talk about is the median sales price. So the median sales price in November went to six ninety nine. It was seven hundred and forty five or so, seven forty three. So. The median sales price going down tells me that, you know, maybe not quite as much demand um, or uh, with the inflation uh, coming down, right? As government's been working hard to get inflation down uh, by uh, raising the interest rates. And then now they're bringing them back down because they're getting more comfortable uh, or buyers and sellers and the world is getting more comfortable with the lower interest rates. Uh, so six ninety nine is your median sales price uh, down from seven fifty. Uh, the next um, sector is going to be days on market. So we're at twelve days on market. Last month it was nine, so it bumped up three days there. Uh, this tells us how quickly um, homes uh, and properties are going under contract. Twelve days is still very, very low amount of days on market. Uh, uh, before COVID, it was up in the 60 range. Um, so 12 days is great. So if you think about selling, uh, your house uh, should go under contract fairly quickly in 12 days or so, if the price is right, right? We talked about this before, the price is right. The presentation of the property inside and out is right. And if your real estate agent is doing a good job in promoting your property, meaning exposing it to the world, right? If you do those three things, you'll get an offer in 12 days. I'm seeing properties go into contract uh, in less than that all the time. And then there's some that, you know, hang around a little bit longer. So anyway, the average is 12. Let's talk about the average list, uh, average amount of uh, active listings. So this tells us the amount of properties that are for sale uh, to purchase. Now this is from Plymouth to Provincetown, right? It's the Flex Cape Cod MLS. And uh, there's 672 properties. Now that's homes, that's land, and that's condominiums, okay? So that's not a lot, guys. Uh, typically before COVID, we were carrying around 2,000 units. So we're less than 50% of uh, what we were doing before. 672 units, last month it was 773 in October. Uh, let's talk about months of supply. So the month of supply, we've talked about this before. If it's less than four months of supply, that is a seller's market. If it's five or six months, that's kind of like a neutral or a slack market, right? And then if it's over six months of inventory, then you're looking at a buyer's market. We have not been in a buyer's market for many, many years due to the lack of inventory. So pre-COVID, you know, was probably the last time that we were in a buyer's market. So again, if you're still thinking about selling your house, 2.4 months of inventory, it's still a seller's market. Um, list to sales price. So this tells us as agents, you know, how the offers are coming in on these properties that are listed for sale. So you got 100% of list to sale price. So if you're asking a million, you should get a million. If you're asking 800,000, then you should get 800,000. Now, some of the properties are doing a little less. Some of the properties are still actually going over asking. I see lots of properties still doing 50, 75, $100,000 over asking if they're the right properties. So on average, it's 100%. In October, it was 100%. In September, it was 100%. So the market stayed pretty flat. So if you've got your house priced correctly over the last five or six months, it's showing that if you price it correctly, then you should get an offer of what you're asking. Now, one thing I did want to um, mention real quickly is the
the interest rates, right? We talk about the interest rates. So I'm going to see if I can share my screen here real quick because I'm doing something a little different today. Um, and I want to see if I can pop it up for you. So this is the mortgage interest rates, right? So today we're sitting at 7.3 for a 30-year uh, fixed. Uh, in October, that was uh, 7.7, 7, right? And so it's now 7.3. Uh, a 15-year fixed is now 6.7, and that was um, around 7.0, okay? So the rates have come down. That's fantastic, right? Every time the rates come down, you save money on your monthly payment and less interest, right? Um, a 30-year jumbo was 7.7, 7, and it remains around 7.7. 7. So in order to do a jumbo, you got to finance around 750000 or or more, right? Um, and then you have your 34 Federal uh, Housing Administration, uh, FHA, which is 6.62, uh, and that stayed pretty flat. That hasn't changed much. And then you also have a 30-year uh, VA loan, which has not changed and that still remains around 6.6. .6. So that's all good news in the interest rate field. Uh, things are coming down. And you know, honestly, I predict that they're going to come down even more. It may not be this month or maybe next month, but I think the beginning of the year, January, February, I think you'll see a nice change in um, uh, the uh, interest rates. So uh, as far as a health score, I wanted to uh, bump it up. Last month, I was at 9.0. Bumping it up to 9.2 because the interest rates came down. And um, I think it's still a great time to buy a piece of property. There's some great buys out there. Uh, we put two or three houses on the contract in the last few weeks. And uh, we get some really good buys for some people out there that have been looking. So the key to real estate is you have to always keep looking, right? And turn over those rocks because those good sales or buys or deals or whatever you want to call them, they're always out there, but you can't stop looking. You have to keep looking. So stay in touch with your um, uh, real estate agent. Uh, hopefully it's us. If it's not, that's fine. But stay in touch with your agent. Keep getting those listings. Keep putting your hand up. Keep checking out properties. You'll find one. I promise it always happens. Listen, if there's anything that we can do to help, please give us a call. You've got my number there. It's 508-566-0051. Shoot me an email at sjzano at gmail.com. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you on the next State of the Market for December 2023. Take it easy. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.